Hello, this is Matthew with Technomicon Media, and this week's Game Tech article is Star Wars The Old Republic Crew Skills and um, Ship Guide. So for this video, I'm going to be focusing entirely on the uh, Starship and everything related to it. Um, right now, I'm taking a look at um, all the various uh, titles that you can acquire through ship combat and uh, ship missions. Uh, this is the um, highest ship title, which is Hotshot Pilot, uh, for finishing uh, Ascendancy Barrier. And um, the cool thing about the um, Starship missions and, and the way I like to think of it is that it's sort of like a good framework for things to come. So there may not be a lot of missions done now, but, but I, I am completely certain that within the next month or couple of months, they'll be adding a lot more missions and hopefully group missions as well. A lot of people I've talked to have been pretty excited about that. So here I'm showing in the um, southwest corner of the Imperial Fleet is actually where you purchased ship upgrades. And uh, it's not really clear because it's kind of just labeled as a generic Starship vendor. But um, here I'm kind of going through the, the epic you know, ship upgrades. And uh, a, cu a couple of those, three of those actually that I'm showing are uh, available th through um, ship missions and uh, fleet commendations. So the fleet commendation vendor is that little droid behind this lady. And it's not very clear. And I get a lot of questions about that, uh, where it is, who it is. And um, so I'm just kind of going through the currency and at the very bottom you have your under your PVP kind of token tab is the uh, fleet commendations and you you get those for every mission that you complete and the missions uh, there there's daily missions and then the missions themselves are repeatable so the the daily version of the mission offers more fleet commendations but you can just do the mission on its own so um, this is the regular vehicle uh, starship upgrade vendor and then behind her is the droid and that's the one that actually sells the um, merchandise that you can only buy with fleet commendations you just click on him and uh, there you go so uh, there's various social items there's some really good starship upgrades uh, that i use and um, the only one that i don't use is the proton torpedo or the main reason I don't use the Proton Torpedoes is because they're bugged, or at least they were bugged as of uh, the patch before, and I'm, I'm a le little leery about purchasing it for right now until I get the other upgrades and, and social items that I want to acquire. But um, I'll certainly be trying it out as soon as I get some confirmation that it's fixed. And just to confirm, I want to show you guys on the mini-map uh, for the Imperial Fleet where that is. It's southwest corner, and it's a Starship vendor. So to go about doing um, fleet missions, or um, starship missions, I should say, is you, you of course need to enter your ship. Um, this is all, of course, being done through the perspective of a Sith uh, warrior, uh, specifically Sith Juggernaut. Not, not that it matters for the ship, but just for people's information. Uh, so, of course, my vehicle is going to be the Sith Interceptor, but I'm pretty sure that doesn't have much basis on... Um, ship missions unless there's some sort of collision detection element between the different ships which may come into play when you're dodging asteroids but anyhow so you just run over to your um, where your galaxy map is and, and at least for the the Sith infiltrator um, the the quest acquisition is right here so you just select a, a mission that you want to you know get and accept it and um, then you're done with that, and you go over to your galaxy map and you know select on that. And um, there's lots of ship missions, by the way. They're 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 kind of broken down into level ranges, and the the final ship missions are all clustered around Ilum. So here's a pretty typical example of um, ship combat, and as you can see in your upper right hand corner is all of your. Um, mission objective so it functions just like any other type of you know mission in in the old republic you know, with with primary objectives as well as bonus objectives and the bonus objectives for this mission really just entail taking out starfighters and crippling these these uh, cruisers that kind of swing by you at regular intervals but the primary objective is this huge 
you know, huge starship you can kind of see up ahead with uh, four main points of interest, which are its shield generators, and it has all sorts of secondary objective turrets defending it, as well as all these starships that are going to be cruising through. And, you know, the, the thing about the starships is you want to get them before they, before they pass you because they're going to, you know, circle back around and then they can actually deal more damage to you. And, um, a couple points that I want to talk about with um, ship combat is you can leave, um, you know, firing on perpetually. But the um, the thing that I didn't realize at first, and I just wanted to talk about briefly, is that um, as you're firing your 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 main blasters, that's your main kind of bread and butter shooter, is um, that your shields don't regenerate while you're firing. So you want to get into the habit of Especially on Ascendancy Barrier, that when you're not in combat, you know, meaning you don't immediately have targets either that you need to destroy or that are attacking you to just not fire because you want to regenerate your shields a lot because you're going to be taking a lot of heavy damage uh, both from, from the enemies, the mines, and if you, like myself, on this specific, you know, playthrough on this mission, hit a lot of asteroids and hitting asteroids is is pretty damaging to your ship so what you want to do is you know between between the storms you want to just uh, depress your your auto blaster and just let your shields regen and uh, for this mission I I use an upgrade that either boosts your uh, blaster damage or boosts your shield regeneration rate which uh, is actually which will be shown later, the only way I was able to, to finish this mission on this specific playthrough. And um, I also have another upgrade, which is, um, you know, Shield and Vulnerability, which I just popped um, right now. And um, what that does is gives you immunity to uh, all incoming damage for about 10 seconds, I believe. And there you go. Just pop that now and you can see the little shield barrier around me and it's really good for this mission because the mines uh, that you come you know in proximity with will, will just start raping you and um, so this mission is the last mission for uh, for the kind of the ship progression and it's pretty difficult at least for me it was I've, I've seen some playthroughs with uh, people kind of breezing through it but but that's not me and um, so I'm just gonna kind of go through what it took for me to finish this mission and, and um, what upgrades really kind of saved the day. And so right now I've got my um, blaster set to uh, increase damage, but I'm gonna switch them now to uh, increase shield regeneration. You can see my shields regenerating really fast and that's pretty much gonna save it for me. So I'm just gonna breeze through and just wait for uh, the primary mission objectives to, to pop up, which is uh, disabling the uh, mine deployers. They're called mine tenders, and um, so I switch back to blaster fire, and I'm going to take out this primary objective. And as you can see, my health and shields are pretty much spent, and I am done. So now I'm switching back, and just going to kind of coast through the rest of the mission and just let my shields absorb as much damage as possible. And that's pretty much how I, how I beat this mission this time. Uh, usually I, it doesn't get this close. I took a lot of early asteroid hits which really knocked my health down and you know that was just you know my bad a little sloppy playing there. But you can recover as you can see you know just being smart about your upgrades and, and using them the way that I think that you know they were designed to be used you know both offensively and defensively. And the cool thing about that upgrade is it's really inexpensive. It's definitely the, the first one you want to get. So um, there you go. There's the mission completed. And I survived, and I've got a sliver of health, but, but lots of shields. And once again, this is Matthew for Technomicon Media. For the full article on Star Wars The Old Republic, Crew Skills, and Ship Guide, visit our website at www.technomicon.com. And once again, thank you for watching.